In this recording, we're going to estimate uh, the three variable regression model. Suppose we have the model yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2t plus beta 3 x 3t plus ut. Say this is equation 1. Now taking means of each of these variables uh, in 1, what will you get is y bar equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 x bar 2 plus beta 3 x bar 3 plus u bar. Note that there are no subscripts uh, in this equation, okay, because they won't be. Fine. This is, this, these are the variables over the time. Now you have taken the mean. This is an exact equation. Now subtracting uh, 2 from 1, what will you be getting is yt minus y bar beta 1 minus beta 1 is 0 beta 2 into x 2t minus x bar 2 plus beta 3 x 3t minus x bar 3 plus ut minus u bar Okay, well, these are all deviations from mean. So this could be written as, say, yt. This could be written as, say, x2t, small x2t. This could be written as, say, x3t. This could be written as, say, et. Okay, these are all deviations. from respective means these are all deviations from respective means so you have an equation now yt equals to beta 2 x2t plus beta 3 x3t plus et. Now, suppose you want to estimate the first equation by OLS. Okay, you estimate this equation by OLS and you can get the estimates for beta 1 hat, beta 2 hat, beta 3 hat. Okay, and uh, and uh, other thing which is of importance is that <clears throat> you can get an estimate for the dependent variable y hat t as as y hat t equals to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x 2 t plus beta 3 hat x 3 t. Also remember that uh, you can estimate beta 1 and you can take up the means of all of this. So you can estimate beta 1 hat as beta 1 hat as y bar minus beta 2 hat x bar 2 plus beta 3 hat x bar 3. So this becomes an estimate for beta 1 hat. This becomes an estimate for beta 1 hat. Clear? Now, now what you have is, say, from the third, from this equation, say, whatever equation, I don't know how many equations I have named, 1, 2, yeah, this is, say, third equation. 
Now, from this equation, you can get the estimate for eta or of, of e hat, which is say y hat t minus beta 2 hat x 2 t minus beta 3 hat x 3 t okay so e hat t square would be y hat t minus beta 2 hat x 2 t minus beta 3 hat x 3 t square summing both the sides you'll be getting this okay so this is equation 4 now just see how do we, how do we get the estimate for beta 2 hat and beta 3 hat so this is also your roles kind of an equation okay uh, now what you will do is that differentiate by beta 2 hat and beta 3 hat okay so del of e hat t square upon del of beta 2 hat is equal to now just you have to differentiate this with respect to beta 2 hat you will get 2 summation y hat t minus beta 2 hat x 2 t minus beta 3 hat x 3 t into minus x 2 x 2 t equal to 0 so simplifying it further this 2 and this minus will go out okay on that side of 0 so the simplification will give you this summation y hat t x 2 t minus beta 2 hat will come out of summation x 2 t square minus beta 3 hat x 2 t into x 3 t equal to 0 simplifying it further by taking beta 1 hat beta 2 hat on one side and the terms with y hat on the other side y hat t x 2 t equals to beta 2 hat x 2 t square plus beta 3 hat x2t into x3t let's name this equation 5 okay similarly you guys can differentiate the same fourth equation with respect to beta 3 hat okay let me just copy it down for you guys here okay so now you will differentiate this with respect to beta 3 hat okay so it is 2 summation y hat t minus beta 2 hat x 2 t minus beta 3 hat x 3 t into minus x 3 t equals to 0 again this 2 and this minus on the other side of 0 will go and on simplification you can write this as summation y hat t x 3 t 
minus beta 2 hat x 2 t x 3 t minus beta 3 hat x 3 t square equals to 0. Summation y hat t x 3 t equals to beta 2 hat summation x 2 t into x 3 t plus beta 3 hat summation x 3 t square. Let us name this equation 6. Okay. So let me just copy it down for you guys both of these equations. Oh sorry. Okay. And uh, this equation also. Hmm. So you have these two equations here. Okay. We can write all of this in the matrix form. Just see this point. Okay. This RHS. The way I'm writing this in the matrix form which is summation x 2 t square summation x 2 t into x 3 t summation x 2 t into x 3 t summation x 3 t square This is beta 2 hat, beta 3 hat is equal to, here you have summation y hat t x 2 t, summation y hat t x 3 t, clear? So this becomes your in, in, in the matrix from all of these equation. So by using Kramer's rule, okay, in case if I want to get the value for beta 2 hat, I will put this column on the first column of this coefficient matrix. So this becomes summation y hat t x 2 t summation y hat t x 3 t and this column will remain same which is summation x 2 t x 3 t summation x 3 t square so what you will do is you need to find out the determinant for this divided by determinant of the coefficient matrix which is summation x 2 t square summation x 2 t into x 3 t upon and here you have x 2 t x 3 t x 3 t square okay so you can just find out this becomes summation y hat t x 2 t into summation x 3 t minus summation y hat t x 3 t into summation x 2 t x 3 t
upon this determinant's value which is summation x2t square into summation x3t square minus summation x2t into x3t whole square so this becomes your beta 2 hat this is what you have derived as beta 2 hat okay now similarly in case you want to find out beta 3 hat what you will do is that you will superimpose this column on to the second column of the coefficient matrix I won't be repeating that but I'll be just writing the value for beta 3 hat so beta 3 hat would be similarly you guys can find out what is the value for beta 3 hat so beta 3 hat would be summation y hat t x t3 into summation x 2t square minus summation of y hat t x 2t into summation x 2t into x 3t and the denominator is going to remain same which is summation x 2t square into summation x 3t square minus summation x 2t into x 3t whole square okay so this is the value for beta 3 hat fine so so now what you have is so you have found out the value for beta 2 hat beta 3 hat and you have also found out the value for beta 1 hat so this was uh, an example of the multiple regression model and how do you derive the normal equations in this case thanks